What's going on guys, it's number one boss here today and we're going to be talking about toilet paper, bitch. So anyways, today I was out uh, doing a little bit of grocery shopping with my mom and shit and um... So I've always been, I've always realized this that like every single time, the next time you guys go out and you guys buy some toilet paper, which I know you guys buy a lot of that shit, big dick subs, you guys gotta. Okay, so anyways, um, so you see the actual uh, like the bag of the toilet paper, right? The rolls. This is what the fucking paper says right on it, right? In small text, it says 24 rolls. In big text, right up, right underneath it, it'll say um, 48 rolls because it's two ply. And underneath it, it will say like, I don't know, some weird shit. I think it says two ply underneath it. So it'll be like 24 rolls in small, right? And then in big letters, it'll say 48 rolls. And then underneath it, it'll say two ply. So it's like, it's the most misleading fucking piece of shit in the world. You look at it, the first thing you see is 48 rolls. It's like, holy shit, there's 48 here? I swear it's way less, right? You look at the little package, it's like, there's no way it's 48. It's like, whoa, it's only five bucks, I'm gonna buy it. Come home, you open it, fucking 24 in there. Used up all of them today. I gotta go get a new one. But yeah, the next time you guys go to the um, grocery store or whatever to buy some toilet paper, look at it. Just just watch. Every single time you see it, it will be the most misleading thing in the world. It's like watching a porno, man. The thumbnail is some chick and some guy with the big thing and putting it in there. And it'll be called like XX Hardcore blah blah blah. You click on it, it's like Mickey Mouse porn. It's like, oh, that's nice. That's how misleading I felt, man. I was pissed off. Anyways, that's for RuneScape. Um, yeah, I've been killing these day and all things for, well, right now it's like 4 o'clock p.m. Um, and I've gotten 913k attack experience today, which is, I don't know, it's like 170k an hour, so 5 hours? Yeah, around there. Uh, I'm not sure what time I woke up, but I guess around 11 or so. But, no, I went with shopping, so I don't, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm training a little bit here. I don't really feel like training a little bit Slayer right now. I'm kind of bored as shit from that skill right now. Um, almost 120 million attack experience, but um, tomorrow I plan on uh, probably no lifing again, um, possibly. So, I don't know, by the time this goes up, I might be 122 million. But, yeah, not too bad. I'm closing in on, um, I guess, 200 mil within a few more months. And this right here is a graph actually for my newbie account, believe it or not, right here. This is daily experience right now. I've, I played a little bit over the weekend on this account. Um, and yeah, I, I gained this much. I did a little bit of leeching DG and I did a little bit of legit DGing, as you can see by this experience right here. Um, and obviously I skilled a little bit in the dungeon here, in the, in the dungeon um, while I just sat there. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Like I said, I'm probably going back to it for a little while. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll finish maxing it out as I have, you know, this fucking hunter skill next. Um, that's not the one, hunter. Or something. There we go. Hunter, 1,250,000. I need to do hunter 10 more times than I've already done it in order to get 99. Um, which ain't too. That's shit. Look at this no life right here I had. Let me move this over a little bit. I no life it from 200k experience to 800k. I just wanted to get like, uh, I think I got 73 or something. Or no, that's 70 right around there. Or just 71, 72. It's probably for a quest I needed it for, so I don't know. Logging on that account actually made me just get like flashbacks when I was kind of a newbie on it, which was like a little bit over a year ago, I think. Um, and like all the things I like, I had to get my skills up just to do quests. I've never ever had to do get my skill up for a quest because anytime it was like ever since like, maybe a year ago, quests have started to have a little bit of high of a requirement for like to do them. Like, uh, was it the Fremenic? Oh, the no, the the one for the fire making book is like what 92 fire making, 93 fire making you need. There was never any like any skill over 70 or 60 even for a skill you needed or for a quest you needed. And then it recently started adding that. So I never had the um, feeling of having to get my levels up to do shit. Especially for clue scrolls as well. I remember my friend, right? He does clue scrolls, my, my real life friend. Every single time I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, I'm fishing monks. He's like, I'm like, oh, why? He's like, I need 80 fishing for the stupid clue scroll or some shit. I'm just like, what the hell? You need, you need 80 fishing for a clue scroll? Or 70 or whatever the hell it was. I don't really know. So yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll have a little newbie account uh, video out, um, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get, I'll probably go and trade a little bit of Hunter as well and get 76 maybe, I think I'm 80k away, and then I'll go do a little bit of Fletching, which I think I'm very close to that 98, and I'm very close to 98 uh, Dungeoneering as well, so that's not too bad. Only real skills I have left is Hunter and a little bit of Thieving, I just realized I'm 95 Thieving, I thought I was 99 almost, so I guess I have a little bit of Thieving to do as well. It was, I saw something kind of funny, it's not really a laughing matter, let's just say, 
But um, it, it's kind of funny. So I was at, uh, I stopped by the pizza store to get some pizza for me and my mom when we came home after uh, getting groceries and shit. I know, right? We just bought food and now we're going out to buy it. We, everybody does that, okay? When we buy food for groceries, we put it in the house. We're like, ah, fuck cooking it. Let's go buy a pizza or some shit. I know you guys all do exactly the same. So I was ordering my pizza. It's a small store, right? It's one of those, like, corner kind of stores that if you didn't know the actual place, you would probably never go to it because it's, like, grimy and it's, like, broken. Yeah, one of those places. I mean, I kind of blame the way they have the store set up, but, like, there's, um, you get two slices of uh, pizza and a pop. For I think it's three fifty. It used to be three dollars, but they had to rise it a little bit because of or raise it. My bad, not rise it. They had to raise it a little bit because you know the economy is slowly. It's getting more expensive to fucking live now. Um, so you know that's gonna go up as well. Um, but anyway, so this like I'm gonna say maybe fifteen year old, fourteen, probably a little bit uh, you know smaller or a little younger than me. Um, he he took two pops instead of one, and he, he did it really obvious way. I knew he was gonna do it because he was looking at me like he was gonna do something. I was just like, okay, you better not have no gun on you, or else I'm going to kick your ass before you take the gun out. So, he looks at me, and he looks at the pops. I'm just like, oh, I don't know if you're going to, like, what are you going to do? So, he goes, reaches over, and I kind of move my body just a little bit, because I, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of bad for doing this. I move my body a little bit so the person doesn't see him, right? And he reaches for two pops, and I knew he was going to take a pop. And then, he takes it, runs out of the store... Like, a re like, who the hell runs at? Don't run out of the store, you idiot. I'm, I'm going to give you some tips. Next time, just walk out of there. Put a little whistle. A little, little um, you know, gentle whistle. Innocent whistle. And the guy, the pizza guy, um, he, like, he didn't draw out the pizza, but he put it on the table. Like, he threw it on the table. And he asked me to move quickly, and I moved out of the way. And he ran after the guy outside the store because um, he stole a pop, which is, I don't know. And then he came back with the pop and shit, and then he told me that kid stole him from there before. I'm just like, why the fuck would you let him in here then? But yeah, right when you enter the store, it's so small that, like, on your left side is, like, the pop machine. Like, it, you know, just open the door and you get as many pops as you want out. And, like, it's right beside the door. And then, like, the actual people that work there are right behind the counter. So it's, like, you can easily kind of just go and take a few and run away. And if you're fast enough, you, they can't really get you. But you can't come back for that cheap pizza. I still remember going to Pizza Hut, man. I, one day, I, I was in a mood for Pizza Hut. I went there. I had 20 bucks on me. I ordered a large fucking pizza, 22.50. I was like, I didn't order two, I ordered one. They're like, yes, for one, 22. I'm like, I felt like walking out of there and just like cock slapping the bitch on my way out. I'm just like, who the fuck pays 22 dollars and 50 cents for a fucking pizza? I don't live in a mansion, all right. How much would delivery be then? Like 30 bucks for a large? Yeah, that's right, Pizza Hut. I'm I'm sh I'm putting you guys out there on blast. Fuck you and your expensive. You guys have good crust though, but you're you're fucking so expensive, man. The place I went to, they like the one where the kid tried to steal the uh, pop. It's like seven fifty for an extra large pizza with like two toppings, like cheese and like pepperoni or something. Seven fifty extra large. It's it's fucking huge. It's like that's cheap, man. Twenty two for a large. Lick my fucking left fucking nut and dick and balls and tits. But hey, at the end of the day. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do.